really for all of those girls out there who have had babies or a baby and have not been able to successfully lose their baby weight. Um, this video is definitely not for those girls who have been really lucky enough to be skinny before they had their baby and then immediately drop all of their baby weight after they had their baby because there are those girls out there and you're just like, ooh, you know, like I wish that was me. But unfortunately, someone like me, before I had my baby, I always struggled with accepting my body. I used to say that I struggled with my weight, which is not really true because I never have been overweight, but I always struggled with accepting my thick body or thicker than most, you know, tiny or petite girls. Um, just to show you guys what I look like, this is what I look like today. And um, I definitely have big hips. I definitely don't have like a tiny, tiny waist anymore. Um, and I'm pretty much thicker than most girls, which I'm okay with. I have had one baby um, and um, it's kind of like I've learned to accept that I'm never going to get back to where I was before I had my baby. Before I had my baby, um, the difference between then and now is my waistline was a lot smaller. I was probably something like, let's see, something like that. Because I know that like right now my waistline is like um, probably, I think 29 inches or something. And before I had the baby, I was 26 inches. So I had a pretty small waist, even though I was thicker everywhere else. So I'm going to just kind of give you guys some tips. I also made another video before on how I lost my baby weight, but I'm going to give you guys some quick tips and also show you a couple of exercises that you can do with your baby. Okay, so the first tip is that you really have to pay attention to what you're eating. If it seems like you're gaining weight more than you are losing and you are nursing because you do lose weight when you nurse, um, but if you're nursing and it seems like even though you just had a baby and like it feels like your weight is just, is just going up and up and up, then you really, the first thing you have to pay attention to and evaluate is your diet. If you go into your kitchen and you see that you have a lot of like cookies and soda and chips and maybe even like if you eat a lot of like rice cakes, because a lot of people think like, oh, rice cakes and um, whole wheat bread is something that I could eat with like peanut butter and bananas. No, you really have to be careful with what type of foods you're eating that are making you gain weight. And once you figure out what it is that's in your house, you've got to get rid of it or label it as someone else's if you can't get rid of it. Like if maybe your husband eats that stuff or if your um, teenager or whatever eats that food, you've got to say, you know what, from now on, this is your food. I need you to count how many there are and I need you to only eat them and not let me have any. So... And I'm sorry, occasionally you're going to hear my dog barking outside. That's what happens when you do real time or um, when you don't do voiceovers. So um, anyway, so you've, that's the first thing you have to do. Um, I have gotten really used to going and buying these pre-made salads um, at Fresh and Easy. And I tend to eat one in the morning um, and then I'll eat one in the afternoon and I'll eat one again at night. And then in between, I'll snack on like, you know... Um, maybe some yogurt or maybe some cottage cheese and some fruit. Okay, so that's just an example. But I'm constantly making sure that if I'm going to have a very sedentary day, meaning I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to do much cleaning, I'm going to be working at the office, I'm going to be sitting down on my butt, then I don't allow myself any treats. But if I do work out on a specific day, then I allow myself some treats. So you do have to allow yourself a treat at least once a day. Don't overindulge. Keep it at about 100 calories. Um, that's what I try to keep it at, and just once a day. And um, move yourself gradually to that. Don't quit all your bad foods cold turkey because it's a sure way of like setting yourself up for for disaster. Okay, so I'm um, going to stop this for a second. Okay, and so the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you fit in at least an hour of moderate exercise every day if not then you want to do at least like 30 minutes of like exercise that's going to kind of be a little more strenuous and make you sweat a little bit more 
Um, moderate would be something like walking for an hour a day. Strenuous would be something like aerobics um, for half an hour or cycling or jogging a little bit. Um, and I know that some of you moms like have newborns, so you can't really do that yet. But some of you have met your six-week mark where your doctor said, okay, it's, it's okay to go ahead and start working out. Um, just do a lot of like light stuff. One of the things that I started doing once my doctor said it was okay for me to start working out is I started doing this. And this, um, this is just the high chair. And I had my baby in there. And while they were eating, which would usually take... Uh, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes or so. And this isn't for newborns. This is more for like when your babies are a little older and they can sit up on the high chair. And, you know, they can you can feed them or they can feed themselves. They would be sitting here and then I would just go down, feed them. And while I was down, I wasn't letting my weight all sit on my knees. I was letting it sit on my butt and on my thighs. So I was like this, feeding them. And it's kind of like a queen's chair or a king's chair that you do at the gym where you sit against the wall and you kind of like hold it in position until you feel like the burn and you try to do it for at least a minute. Okay, so that's one thing that I would do is just hold it and feed my baby. I know this looks really silly, but it's really effective. Um, the other thing that I would do, and I'm just going to turn this around so I have more room, is, um, oh, and that hold that I did, I would do for about... 30 seconds to a minute long and I had my clock over here where I could see it or um, I would keep my little phone handy and time myself for 30 seconds to a minute. The other thing you can do is while your baby is eating you want to do at least 25 of these if not try to get up to 50. If you need to do less or you can do more it's up to you but those are kind of like the goal numbers you want to reach. So I would just go down and then Hide just a little bit and then pop up, peekaboo, and then go back down and pop up, peekaboo. And meanwhile, I'm counting. And then three and four and five. And you know, it depends on how many you can do. Those are just two examples. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can turn on your music at home and turn up, like, you can even create a mix of songs that you like. And just get your baby. I'm just going to grab my paper towel because my toddler is sleeping right now. Um, and you just basically just dance around the house. Um, if you can, do a lot of like while you're holding the baby, open your legs just a little bit. And then squat down and come up. Squat down and come up. And you, if you notice, I'm not going all the way down. I'm just going pretty low. Another tip for um, exercising is something that you can do pretty much anywhere. And this isn't really an exercise per se that's gonna make you sweat, but this is just kind of like something that all of us need to get into the habit of doing, which is most of us, when we carry our babies, if we carry them on our hip like this, our front stomach area goes like that, okay? Can't really see it too much, but we tend to do this. So this whole thing is protruding. Or if we carry them in front of us, we go like this, right? So everything is like sticking out. And you can see that it even, like I'm even forcing it out and it's starting to push my stomach outward, which looks really bulky and unnatural. So when you're holding your baby, make an effort to kind of like push your hips under and then carry your baby wherever it is that you need to carry them like this. The other thing you want to do is push your shoulders back. And I know that this may seem like it's not really a big deal, but what you're doing is you're shaping and you're forming the way that you stand and the way that you carry yourself. If you allow your muscles to stick out, eventually your, your muscles will become weak because they're not, you're not using them to hold up everything that's inside of you, your intestines and everything. So it's a wall that's just kind of being let go. And there's no, you're not strengthening it. So if you're not allowed to do sit-ups yet, your doctor just said you can do those yet, this is a good way to kind of like keep it all tight. So I think I went over my 10 minutes. I'm trying to keep it really short. Hopefully these tips helped you. And I'll be doing some more videos like this to help you guys out, okay? So I hope that you will lose some more of your baby weight and let me know how things go for you. Take care.